Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to perform the baby release combo. So we are going to put together the baby scratch with the release scratch to create your first scratch combination, okay? So we're going to be doing four baby scratches. We're gonna go baby, 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 or you can think of it as forward, 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 because you really don't wanna concentrate on the backward motion of the baby. You just wanna concentrate on the forward motion and the forward part should be on the head nod. So it's forward, 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 forward. And then you, the reason why you wanna focus on that forward motion is because the next one is the release. So you're just gonna let it go forward uh, on that fifth count, which is the one of the next phrase. So these four babies are going to occur on the eighth bar or the last bar of the previous phrase. So say it's an eight bar phrase, and then going into a another phrase, we would do it on the eighth bar, and then, so forward, eight, two, three, four, forward, 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 and then release, and it'll be on the one of the next phrase. Now, uh, so we're going to just uh, start here, right here, Make sure uh, if you're using a cue point, you know, you might wanna make sure just it's accurate, right? And then we're just going to go forward, 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 right? And then release. And then rewind. And when you rewind, do it manually for the first few times and get it back. And then you can also use your cue points. So let's do it manually first. We're gonna go forward, 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 release. And then rewind. Forward, 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 release. And then rewind. Notice I'm not going forward, 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 because it's not gonna be accurate. You saw it jumped when I let it go like that. So you wanna really work on being super precise with those babies and the release, and you hopefully have already done that by practicing in the previous two videos, so you're totally ready for this. You can also, instead of rewinding, hit your cue point on your software, uh, or a cue point on your CDJ. So let's use the software. Right, and then uh, I wanna get it back to 12, so that was natural for me to do that. But you don't have to rewind it, so let's do it again. Okay, cue point. Notice that last time I was a little further up than nine o'clock and it wasn't as accurate. So that's just a perfect example of why your nine o'clock position is super helpful. Now you also wanna practice on the other side. So make sure you're practicing your babies and your releases on this side. And then I also wanna note the symbols that you're seeing. So you're seeing the four babies representing the eighth bar, forward, 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 eight, two, three, four, into the release which is on the one of the next phrase. So you're seeing that release symbol. So make sure you practice this combination on both sides, like I said, and get really accurate. And then once you're ready, go on to the next lesson.